Hello, first grade owls at home. It's good to see all my musicians. And I can't believe I got to see some of you today in person down at the field. Would you please let me know if I got to see you? I remember some of you, but some of your costumes were so cool and fun and scary. I'm just not sure who everybody was. I think there were about 15 of you or so. I hope you got some good candy and had fun while you were doing that. Um, talking about costumes, I have a few for you. If a kid dressed up wearing a white gown, had a gold circle around their head, and played the harp, what could they be dressed as for Halloween? Did you guess an angel? That was right. What if a kid dressed as somebody who slept upside down and wore a black cape and would not be interested in eating a hamburger and fries? Did you guess a vampire or even Dracula? That was right. I probably would eat the hamburger and fries. Would you guys eat it too? Yeah, but they just like to drink blood for some silly reason. I have two more for you. This costume has big, broad shoulders. They have a number on the front and on the back, and they say, Hut, what could it be? Did you guess a football player or an NFL player? Well done. And last one. This costume is for a girl who wears a green dress and has a sassy attitude and loves Peter Pan. Have you heard of Tinkerbell? Excellent, that was the last costume. So this week, I think a few weeks ago, I taught you the song, pass the pumpkin all around, listen to the spooky sound. Ooh, ooh, will it stop on you? Boo! Well, today we're gonna be beat trackers. So we're gonna look at the steady beats and make sure we get one dot on each. Pass the pumpkin all around. Listen to the spooky sound. Ooh, ooh, will it stop on you? Boo! Did you notice how I tracked them? I didn't have any left over. That's right. Well, I can also this page only has eight beats and I put the other eight on the next page. But this one, I'm gonna track the number of sounds. So on pass the, is it one sound or two? I got two also. So we'll write two tally marks. Pass the, and then pumpkin. Oh, my chin went down two times there also. All a uh, two. And round, just one sound there. Listen, two sounds. To the, also two. Spooky, two. Sound, and the next page. Ooh, ooh. It's quite a bit slower, right? only two sounds per beat. And the last one, will it stop on you? Boo! Did you match that? So that's the rhythm of the words. And this first line is line one and then line two. What do you notice about line one and two? Are they the same or different? Yep, they're the same. So I could give them a nickname like A. Since they're the same, I'll call the second line A. Moving on to line three though, I have only one sound per beat. Ooh, ooh. So we're gonna call that B, because it's different. And then line four, we need to give a nickname too. Will it stop on you, boo. It doesn't look like B because there's one sound here, but two, and one sound here, but two, but it kind of looks similar to one and two. So we could call it A, but because the third beat is different, it should do hmm, 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 but it only has one sound. 
we're gonna call it A prime. Prime means it's almost there, but it's not quite the same. So you guys have heard of twins, right? Where you have a boy and a boy, or a girl and a girl, or even it could be a boy and a girl, but they grew together and they're the same exact age with the same exact birthday and they belong to the same mom and dad. Well, that would be if you had like A and A, but if you have A and A prime, that's like a brother and a sister. They weren't born at the same time. They don't have the same birth date, but they're kind of alike, right? They live under the same house. So this song here, Pass the Pumpkin, is an A, A, whoops, B, A prime song. It has something that repeats, something completely different, and then something that is pretty similar, but not quite the same. And that's called the musical form, F-O-R-M. And you can have forms with your reading, your math, you can have it in art, but that's a musical form. It's how things are laid out and structured. And it also has to do with the words. So speaking of words, I have some funny words for you. There's a song that many music teachers know and love called Luby Lou. And it goes, here we go, Luby Lou. Here we go, Luby Light. Here we go, Luby Lou. All on a Saturday night. And then a music teacher friend of mine took the words and changed them so that it's for Halloween. So it goes, here we go, spooky Lou. And it even sounds spooky, doesn't it? Here we go, spooky light. Here we go, spooky Lou. All on a Halloween night. So if it were any other year besides 2020, I would have two students, you and a friend, hold hands and you would go side to side. It's kind of like a swinging song. But because we're not touching hands right now and you guys aren't in my classroom at all, I'm going to show you how to do it with two little stuffed animals, like two beanie babies. Okay. So I have today a spider and I've got a ghost and they're going to be together. So when one moves this way towards you, they both move and then they both come back towards me. Here we go. Spooky Lou. Here we go. Spooky light. Here we go, Spooky Lou, all on a Halloween night. You put your witch hat in, you take your witch hat out. You give that witch hat a shake, 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 but don't you turn around. So you can do all kinds of Halloween things. I did a witch hat. Let's do um, vampire teeth, okay? Grab two animals and try it with me. Here we go, Spooky Lou. Here we go, Spooky Light. Here we go, Spooky Lou. All on a Halloween night. You put your vampire teeth in. Oh. Put your vampire teeth out. You give those teeth a shake, shake, shake. But don't turn around. Oh, what's another good one? You hear that, how it's kind of swinging? Swinging, swinging song. Let's do cat whiskers. Here we go, spooky Lou. Here we go, spooky light. Here we go, spooky Lou. All on a Halloween night. You put your cat whiskers in. You take your cat whiskers out. Give those whiskers a shake, 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 but don't turn around. So you could do pumpkin head. You could do, oh, what's another good one? Your pirate sword, anything having to do with your costume. Might be fun. Okay, for our last activity today, I'm gonna put up those heartbeats that we all feel to track. Let's see, here we go. No, I want this one, I think, yeah. And I'm gonna take it back and erase, erase all over the place. Shazam, shazoom. It's done in a zoom. And I would like to write ghost pumpkin 
Sorry, fetch the dog. Ghost. Pumpkin. Oh, I don't know if they're gonna stay. Oh, sorry about that. Let's just do one time and then we'll repeat it. So ghost pumpkin. Of those sounds, which one is just one sound? Ghost or pumpkin? Did you say ghost? That was right. Okay, so ghost, we'll write. Let's choose an orange. Ghost and then pumpkin is two sounds. And then ghost again and then pumpkin and pumpkins always have a vine at the top right on their head so I'm actually gonna connect at the top there ghost pumpkin ghost pumpkin that way nobody looks at my writing and thinks oh that was an 11 she had an 11 and one sound on a beat no that's not right so now Let's change it for the second line. We'll do pumpkin, ghost, pumpkin, ghost. So pumpkin first and then ghost and pumpkin and then ghost. What did I forget that time? Yep, the pumpkin vine. So I'll put that back on and I'll put it back on here. All right, let's do all eight beats. The first line and the second line. Ghost, pumpkin, ghost, pumpkin, pumpkin, ghost, pumpkin, ghost. And let's read it the music way with two sounds and one. One, two sounds, one, two sounds, two sounds, one, two sounds, one. And if I gave these a nickname, it would be A. And let's see, do they look alike? No, in fact, they're total opposites. So we'll call it B. And there we have it. Thanks for doing music with me today, first grade. I would like in the responses for you to write out how I would do a certain phrase okay and I'm gonna use some different cards for that one so just do your best have fun whatever Halloween plans you have and I'll see you next week bye